Here are two reasons why you will most certainly succeed in your French learning journey. Because like this really pick me up from time to time. Because it's so frustrating when you're trying to learn Urdu or Dutch, like in my case, and you just fail after trying so many times. Number one, it's a human skill. Just think about a five-year-old Chinese baby. A five do you think a five-year-old Chinese baby struggles with speaking Chinese? With its parent, it's a human skill which has almost a hundred percent strike rate. So you will definitely succeed in your French as well. Kiss the jump pose, yes. Yeah, it's only five so. Do you guys remember this thing from the other video where I was riding a horse? I'm I'm in the farm where I used to work in uh, 2017. The second reason why you will definitely succeed at learning French or any other language you're learning is because so many people try and give up. It takes a lot of persistence, which makes of you a rare Pokemon. So if you have one ingredient in you, I don't think there's a unique method. Everyone has their own preferences. But if you have one ingredient in you, persistence. You will definitely succeed at learning French or any language. You know, pick up one skill that you really want to excel at and do it over and over and over from different sources, and you will succeed. It's not impossible. It just takes persistence. I'd like to tag a video that I watched from TED TEDx where he was talking about how people stop at the first wave. There is a first wave that you need to persist through, a huge volume of work that not many people are willing to put in. And persistence, and the benefits. On the other hand, you are perceived as a as a person who is intelligent. If you look at all the words that you need to know to speak French, all the contractions and the cultural references you need to know. If you look at the volume of information, and someone who learned that in two five years, then it looks that he is that intelligent because he did it. But I don't think I am necessarily very intelligent. <laughs> okay, I'm being honest. I'll give you guys a third bonus reason. You don't have to learn many principles from scratch, like the Chinese kid. Or the German kid example that I gave you guys a short while ago, he has to learn the principle of the past tense. He has to learn the principle of the color red, and so on. But you have the benefit of knowing these in your in, in English. Or there is absolutely no car that comes around here. That's why we used to bring the horse. They are staring at me like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? There are verbs, there are nouns. Of course, there are uh, there are more irregular verbs, more verb conjugations in one language than the other. But for the most part, they are comparable. Some things change, but they are comparable. So that's like a little bonus third reason why you will definitely succeed. I just wanted to encourage you guys that if you put your mind to it, you definitely can succeed. I'm saying hi to you guys from the farm where I used to work at. I absolutely love these guys. They have taken such good care of me. Can you see? It's nice to come back over here and have a nice weekend, and to just chill with these people and be in nature, away from Paris and all the concrete jungle that I'm used to now. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. It's gonna happen. It just takes persistence. It takes nothing else. You don't need to be intelligent. I'm not. Just keep learning.